Hey everybody, Josh here with you from the Marshall Auto Exchange. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video on our 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland Edition. It is the 4x4 package. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Number one question we get asked by people when they call is, what can you tell me about the vehicle? So we try to show you everything we can about the vehicle before you come. Uh, we do operate by appointment Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Saturdays we are 9 to noon, so be sure to call before you come if you want to take a look at this vehicle. Um, history on this vehicle. Or in this, excuse me, in this video we'll talk about mechanics, history, and some cosmetic things I'll try to point out here. Uh, a little history on the vehicle. We did purchase this vehicle from another dealership via the auto auctions. We don't know the previous owner personally, so we don't have a ton of history on it like that. However, if you're looking for number of owners, accident reports, things like that, uh, we are partnered with carsforsale.com and they will provide you with a free vehicle history report. Uh, the directions to attain that are right below in the description, but if you head to carsforsale.com, search out this Jeep. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. Scroll down a little bit and click on vehicle history report. Um, they will provide you with a free vehicle history report at no cost to you. If you'd like a different report, you would have to go through whichever desired source you, source you prefer. Um, all in all, very nice Jeep. We ran it to the shop, had it serviced. Uh, we, we serviced the uh, air ride suspension. Obviously, with the Overland Editions, you can raise up and lower your ride, which kind of makes it really cool. Uh, so we just went through that, had it serviced. It's got about 80,000 rounds on it, so low miles for its age. Cosmetically, nice Jeep. There is some general wear and tear, you know, scratches, things like that. Nothing crazy. This vehicle is 12 years old. It's not a $50,000 Jeep. It does have some nicks and dings on it. When I say nicks and dings, just minor little scratches like this. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. When you step back, you don't even notice it. It just looks like a nice Jeep. Plastic, still a nice, uh, nice shiny metallic color. Chrome trim on the rear caps, door handles. I really like the gray paint on it, really pops and looks nice. This is the Overland Edition, as I mentioned, so it's the higher end trim for the Jeep. So you got a class two trailer tow hitch, as well as both light hookups, which is handy. This one is a five passenger and powered by the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. One little door ding right there. Where'd it go? So you got a scuff here and there was a, there's a right there, a little door ding right below it. But again, like I mentioned, nothing crazy, just average wear and tear that I guess I expect on a 12 year old vehicle. It's certainly not new anymore, all in all. And there just, there is a, this is probably the worst blemish on the whole thing, just that little scratching right there. But again, when you step back, you don't really even notice it. But powered by the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, so lots of power, lots of get up and go. Certainly capable to pull the boat, um, a small camper with that class two trailer hitch. tires on it here so there are the tires on it in the mirror here so you got uh, blind spot detection that's what that little triangle is and then the mirrors are also heated so in the winter time you start it up those mirrors will heat up smart key push the button as long as you got your key on your persons it'll unlock the door for you power windows power mirrors power door locks now one thing you are going to notice in this overland pass package you're going to get the premium leather color i personally really like it it's different everybody has a black or a gray interior i like my personally my vehicles to be a little bit different stand out so i like this design here by uh by jeep and uh chrysler automatic light controls down here your fuel door release and your dimmer switch Seventy six thousand three ninety eight is your exact miles as of today so really low miles on its age really low miles for its age it does have remote start we'll see if it, let me shut the door here lock it lock it And I'll unlock the doors, otherwise I almost always lock myself out. On the steering wheel, you got a lot, a bunch of nice controls. Um, Left-hand side here is gonna control your information center, which is up top. Right-hand side is gonna be like your cruise control. Forward collision alert, so it does have forward collision, as well as, actually this is adaptive cruise control, excuse me. So it does have adaptive cruise control, which is nice. One of my favorite features in my personal vehicle is the adaptive cruise control. So what will happen is, let's say you set the cruise at 60, you come up on a car going 58, your vehicle will adjust and keep a safe distance behind that vehicle. So nice design there. No dummy lights or indicators on the dash. As I mentioned, freshly serviced. We just went through it. Push button start. Navigation. As well as a backup camera. Cooled seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, tow haul mold, traction control. This thing is very well equipped, loaded up. Nice big roof here, I'll show you that that works. 
and there it goes. Also, the shade will come all the way up and close this, which I like. Just a nice, clean, well laid out vehicle. We did a really nice job getting this one all cleaned up. I kind of jumped the gun here on my walk around. I usually do the second row first. Five passenger, as I mentioned, these second row seats, as you can see, this one's reclined back. That one's sitting up a little straighter. straighter. So it gives you some flexibility with your passengers in the rear for comfort and ride. You got two vents in the rear as well as second row heated seats, which I really like. That's, uh, that's a nice feature there. You got a wall plug charger here, 115 volt, cup holders in the center. Then these will fold down like so to give you flat storage. Power lift gate, so all you gotta do is just gently pull this handle here. Lift gate will go up. Lots of cargo space back here, lots of room. Power lift gate button is right here. You also have the cargo cover. So, whoops. So when you have the seats up, if you got some valuables back here you wanna keep covered up, just pull that back and that'll keep your stuff hidden in the back, which is a nice feature. And then when we're done, we just push the lift gate button and down it comes. We'll pop the hood real quick, I'll let you listen to it run, and then we'll wrap this video up. There is that 5.7 liter Hemi, nice strong run on motor, no knocks, no tips. Drives nice, shifts nice as it should. If you are interested in scheduling a test drive on this Jeep, you can reach us at 507-531-AUTO. That's 507-531-2886. You can find this vehicle and all of our inventory online at marshallautoexchange.com. Don't forget to ask about our financing for everyone with guaranteed approvals. If you do submit a credit app on our website, be sure to give us a call or text to the 2886 number. Let us know you submitted that credit application so that way we can get started on it for you right away. If you try to contact us via email, in, in, uh, in, in, inventory, in, oh, inquiry, sorry, an inquiry on one of our vehicles, we don't see those right away. So the quickest, easiest, fastest, the best way to get a hold of us, please give us a call or text to the 2886 number. We do operate by appointment, as I mentioned before. We're nine to five, set Monday through Friday. Saturdays, we operate nine to noon. And if you're coming to look at this vehicle or a different one, please, 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 please call ahead. That never fails. We'll have somebody show up here and maybe the vehicle's already sold. Or worse, there's nobody here to show you the vehicle. Um, so if you're coming from a ways away, please call ahead. We want to make sure that this vehicle is still available and that there's somebody here to show it to you. And then lastly, if you found this video helpful in your buying process, be sure to hit that like button. We make these videos for you to help you with the buying process. So if you found it helpful, hit that like button. If you decided, you know what, this vehicle isn't for me, no problem. Hit the like button anyway. That tells us that these videos are worth our time to make. Thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.